everybody welcome to a special christmas record edition of vinyl fetish i just want to take a moment to share with you my all-time favorite christmas record on vinyl tis the season you can't escape the music it's all around you no matter what your faith is my dad used to always joke about neil diamond and barbara streisand having christmas albums <laughs> it just it doesn't matter it just doesn't matter the music is omnipresent my four-year-old is fully enmeshed in frosty and rudolph and all your old favorites is beginning to look a lot like christmas um we had to buy mistletoe because she's like what is all the singing about mistletoe so we bought mistletoe today so here's my favorite i grew up uh, on the johnny mathis the christmas song his christmas record and then everybody was making a christmas record. you know the beach boys and elvis had a ton of christmas records even the beatles put out a christmas single every year for their fan club members some someday that apple will release all that stuff it's a real amazing evolution of the beatles this is a bootleg of those fan club recordings that i got in the 70s sometime um my favorite album uh of christmas music is it, it, it's not exactly the beatles but it is another band that had some huge hits uh in the early 70s people would scream uh, I got in trouble because I wanted to grow my hair long, like the lead singer of this band, as a as a child, as an eight-year-old. Uh, I was told that people with long hair, guys with long hair, are on drugs, so I had to keep my hair short. Uh, that uh, band that had such an uh, influence on me uh, that my parents feared was the Partridge Family. The Partridge Family Christmas Card, 1971, the top-selling Christmas record of... 1971 falling apart um in fact you can see right on here it says randy blazek post that was my seventh grade teacher so i took this record to school for christmas of 1975 to play for my classmates oh my gosh um obviously the partridge family aren't a real band in fact the backing band on this is the the wrecking crew who played on a lot of amazing records in the 60s including all those monkeys records played with the solo Beatles, played on John Lennon's rock and roll record. So there was a great session, musicians on this record. Uh, almost all the songs are sung by David Cassidy, a very young David Cassidy who died just a year ago. There's a couple ballads sung by his TV mom, Shirley Jones, Shirley Partridge. I think she might've actually been his real mom. There's some weird relationship between them. Uh, huge TV show. The, the the main song, Christmas Card, is written by the guy that wrote I Think I Love You, which was the smash hit from the Partridge Family, and it's really, really good. But David Cassidy's kind of young, soulful voice, soulful singing Blue Christmas or White Christmas or even like a ballad version of Frosty, the Snowman. It's just really good. Um, it's been released on CD. It's on Spotify. I'll provide a link. You should really, If you've never heard this, you should just check it out because it's grade A schlocky tv christmas music but i have a feeling a lot of you who were young in the 70s might own this record or might have it somewhere in your attic you want to dust it out for christmas because it is um oh my gosh uh and andrea is going to laminate it for me so it can make it through another few more christmases because it is falling apart this is a cr record that has been loved to death partridge family christmas um Christmas card to you, to you and all your family. Um, there you go. There you go. Okay. We'll be back with a regular edition of Vinyl Fetish soon. Merry Christmas if you're celebrating. Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Mer Middle Moose, everybody, to you. Merry Christmas to you. And a very new year. All right, Keith. We love you. Look at this hair. Come on, Mom. Peace. Christmas